The image of a large rocket engine with many intricate details was very familiar to us a few years ago, but now it is slowly fading from our memory thanks to the presence of the most advanced rocket engine ever built. SpaceX's Raptor rocket engine. The Raptor 3 version that Elon Musk has just revealed looks very impressive, unlike any rocket engine we have ever seen. Of course, to achieve this goal, SpaceX also started from here. So how did the Raptor go from this form to this in just a few years? Find out all the information in today's episode. In developing the SpaceX Raptor rocket engine, Elon Musk and his team faced various challenges. One of the main challenges was simplifying the complex features of other rocket engines. They had to pioneer new technologies, master the full-stage combustion cycle, and redesign all the inherent components of the engine. This was a significant shift from existing technology and required comprehensive research and development. In addition, they also had to ensure that the Raptor was not only simplified, but also had superior power. This required a high level of innovation and creativity. And now SpaceX has achieved what seemed impossible. In August, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk shocked the space community with a photo of a Raptor 3 that looked very impressive. It was a stark departure from the Christmas tree-like appearance of the two previous versions, version one and two. As everyday astronaut noted, it was a truly ridiculous feat of engineering to simplify a machine to this degree. What looks simple on the outside is actually much more complex on the inside, so this must be a masterpiece. Indeed, to develop such a simple system, the SpaceX team has spent countless hours researching, developing, and testing cutting-edge technology that has never been done before. Elon Musk affirmed in his tweet that the magnitude of effort necessary to streamline the Raptor engine, incorporate internal secondary flow pathways, and implement regenerative cooling for exposed components was considerable. The latest iteration of the Raptor engine, known as Raptor 3, has undergone a comprehensive component consolidation. This means that many previously separate components have now been integrated into fewer, but less complex parts. For example, in the transition from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, engineers eliminated a large number of pipes and sensors. Many valves were combined into valve plates, further simplifying the piping system. In the case of Raptor 3, the heat shield is a component that should be removed first to optimize potential mass savings. Indeed, the next generation Raptor engine necessitates no heat shield. Indeed, however, the heat shield plays a crucial role in managing the extreme thermal conditions experienced during launch and re-entry. So how do you remove it without damaging the engine itself? Elon Musk previously explained at X that if we can remove and integrate enough secondary structures and small complex components, then we can locally shield, rest, and remove the engine heat shield. In detail, he explained that all of the components are regeneratively cooled. Elon Musk articulated this during a segment of the Daily Celestial Expedition for astronauts. Obviously, with the heat shield removed, the Raptor's exposed, so it needs to be cooled. Because it's exposed, it needs to be cooled, so there's an integral cooling circuit throughout. While it looks simple on the outside, it's actually quite complex on the inside. Like even the entire pre-burner and the gas manifold and everything that goes with it, all of that, well, that thing you see attached to the side is gone. Indeed. Naturally, the heat shield is not the sole component that has been detached. We have also eliminated a large number of bolted and welded joints, especially bolted joints. You really want to get rid of those. Indeed, this kind of simplification is intended to reduce manufacturing complexity and increase reliability while maintaining or even increasing performance. How do we simplify the structure while still increasing performance? With a thrust of 280 tons, the V3 has an increased thrust-to-weight ratio compared to previous versions. The key lies in the pressure inside the combustion chamber. Musk asserted that the Raptor three-chamber wall potentially possesses the highest heat flux of any creation to date. As the pressure inside the combustion chamber increases, the propellant, fuel, and oxidizer are forced to burn more efficiently. This leads to higher temperatures and pressures which in turn increase the energy released during the combustion process. According to Newton's third law of motion, every action is balanced by an equal and opposite reaction. When exhaust gases are expelled at high speed, they produce a reaction force that pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. 
This increased thrust allows the rocket to carry heavier payloads, achieve higher speeds, and carry out more ambitious space missions. Higher space pressures result in greater thrust output, allowing for a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. This ratio is important because it indicates the amount of force an engine can produce in relation to its own weight. A higher thrust-to-weight ratio allows the rocket to carry heavier payloads or achieve better acceleration, thus extending the range of missions it can perform. Additionally, the importance of chamber pressure also plays into the flexibility of rocket engine design. Higher pressures give engineers the ability to achieve desired performance characteristics while maintaining a compact and lightweight engine design. This flexibility is critical in enabling the development of advanced launch vehicles, such as Starship, capable of meeting a variety of mission needs, including crewed missions, deep space exploration, and satellite deployment. One of the secretive aspects behind Raptor 3 is the internalization of secondary flow paths, which involves redesigning the way propellants and gases move through the engine. This can lead to increased efficiency and performance by optimizing the way fuel and oxidizer are mixed and burned. However, it also adds complexity to the design and manufacturing process, as precise engineering is required to ensure that these internal paths function properly under extreme conditions. In conclusion, the consolidation of components, weight reduction, and the ability to design complex internal structures are factors that set Raptor 3 apart from the rest. However, it would not have been possible for SpaceX to make this happen without the support of 3D printing technology. Unfortunately, SpaceX is home to some of the most advanced 3D metal printing technology in the world. An additional statement from Steve Jurgensen, an early VC investor in SpaceX, noted that the latest Raptor was made possible by Additive Manufacturing, AM, which internally integrates many previously separate components. Additive Manufacturing, more commonly known as 3D printing, is a computer-controlled process that creates three-dimensional objects by adding materials and layers. The technology is used in a variety of industries, including aerospace, automotive, and medical. While SpaceX has not shared specific details about how AM may have been implemented to optimize the Raptor design or internalize some of those components, Musk appeared to confirm the use of AM in subsequent comments, stating, it's actually not widely understood that SpaceX has the most advanced 3D metal printing technology in the world. Additive manufacturing has a number of advantages over conventional manufacturing. First, it can create custom components with complex geometries that are difficult to produce using conventional methods. This results in less material waste and also reduces lead times. This allows users to customize, repair, or create unique objects. The rapid pace of development in new space applications has made the sector a major adopter of additive printing technology. Ariane Group has used additive printing technology to produce heat exchangers, Ariane 6 rocket launcher components, and parts for communication satellites. This past summer, the intuitive Odysseus engine successfully landed on the moon with the help of a 3D printed component from Saya Key located on the top of its engine nozzle. In March, Ursa Major successfully launched its Hadley engine, which was able to be manufactured in a matter of days thanks to its reliance on additive printing, AM technology. Of course, the Raptor 3 improvements present a number of obvious benefits, such as savings in production time and costs. As you can see, the initial Raptor 1 engine production run took SpaceX about 11 days, while the optimized Raptor 2 has cut that time down to just two days, eventually bringing it to an incredible one day per engine. These significant improvements underscore the benefits of design simplification. For Raptor 3, production rates could potentially reach dozens of engines per day, a rate typically associated with the manufacturing industry, not the rocket industry. This capability will be critical to meeting future launch demand, as SpaceX aims to build and fly a large number of Starships each year. Along with the reduction in production time, the cost of each Raptor 2 engine has also been significantly reduced, reaching a very low figure of between one and $2 million. If mass produced, this cost could be reduced to as low as $200,000 per engine. The simplicity of the Raptor 3 also promises to reduce costs to unprecedented levels, although it is difficult to predict how low these costs will go once mass production begins. In addition, 
The Raptor 3's simple design supports Elon's goals. Re-energizing the Super Heavy Booster in an hour and launching Starship every day has its own value. The simple design of the rocket engine reduces maintenance time between flights. That's it for today's episode. See you next time.